All right, guys. So back in the with the final segment of what is the weight loss mini series that we've been doing today and over the next few videos, we're going to be discussing just some tips and tricks that have helped me along the way. Guys, I really hope that you guys have been appreciating the content that I've been putting out. All of the stuff that I've been putting out have been questioned questions that were asked to me by you wonderful people, the great subscribers of this channel, the people who are trying to be able to find their way during their weight loss journey. I really hope that the stuff that I have been discussing has been helping you. I've been putting a lot into it and I've been really doing a lot of deep digging into what I have done over the last months to make it happen for me. So I look forward to seeing and hearing about your results and I really hope this stuff helps. But again, this is the final segment we're going to be talking about over the next few videos because there's so many things that I've been able to accrue over these months that I think would be beneficial. We're going to be talking about all these things now over the next few videos as far as some tips and tricks. Okay, guys? So the first thing is how bad do you want your goal? Okay? Now, that is important. It's so important. And the reason why is because all of the all of the results that you see are going to be a direct, um, they're going to be directly correlated to the amount of effort that you had to put in. All that effort that you put in. When you wake up, do you see in the mirror what you want? When you first wake up, are you motivated to get onto the, 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 um, the tonal? Are you motivated to go for a walk? Are you motivated to run? Are you motivated? How badly do you want that goal? Is the effort worth it to you? And guys, if the, the answer is no, in the back of your head, if you're listening to me talking right now, and the answer to you is no, it's not worth that effort. Guys, I would recommend you don't start <laughs> because you don't want to start and then fail because you already have failed in your mind. You see what I'm saying? You've made your mind up. So start when you're truly motivated. Start when you're ready or else you're just going to be prolonging the agony of what you're going to consider to be failing. Okay, so when you wake up, have your goal in mind. Throughout your day, when you make conscious decisions to be able to eat what is good and eat what is bad, do you feel that calorie tracking is worth it? Do you feel that the run was worth it? Okay, Keep that stuff in mind. It needs to be worth it to you in your heart. It has to be because that hard work is what is going to help you to be able to push forward past all the the hard times that are going to be upcoming. Okay? So keep that goal in mind every single day. The next thing, guys, is look at the big picture of it all. The big picture. When you really look at yourself in the mirror, you got to realize the person that you see in the mirror, they didn't happen overnight. Just like getting good results takes a long time, ending up in a bad position in life takes a long time. It does. You're looking at weeks, months, years of weight that is on you. Years worth of fat that has not gone away yet. And it just piles up over time. So keep that in mind, guys. It took years to put on that weight. Don't expect it to just disappear in a matter of months. The hard work that you put in is going to help you to make it go away faster. But don't get discouraged, okay? Because it took years to put on. Give your body the time it needs to take off, okay? And more than likely, you're going to be able to take off a lot faster than it even took you to put on. So that's that's definitely a good thing, okay? All right. So for many people, I've heard this many times from you guys, weight loss is a mystery. People use that word all the time, a mystery. Guys, it seems like a mystery. Um, and the reason why I think personally looking at it from my perspective, the reason why it seems like a mystery is because people don't realize pe there's so many videos on the, on the internet. There's so many people who talk and tell you that, oh, you have to look, look at the macros and look at this and look at that. And you have to not eat after this time and you have to do this and that guys, in my opinion, okay, you might not agree, but in my opinion and in my experience so far. The reason why it's a mystery is because you have a whole bunch of people in the industry making it a mystery. 
You have a whole bunch of people giving you false information, making you confused, making you think that you can't do this before you even start, jumbling up things in your mind. Guys, it's less of a mystery than you think. When you really look under the microscope at weight loss and you dial and you really focus in, what are you seeing? You got to look at the small details, right? On the outside, you have this big mystery. But now dial in, focus all the way in. What do you have? You have hard work, you have dedication, you have consistency, you have calorie tracking, okay? Calorie tracking is major, major. I don't care what anyone says. I am the result right now, the man you see here, I am the result of calorie tracking over the last six months and hard work and effort and consistency, okay? So if you guys are familiar with the videos I've been putting out, that is what I've been doing. I'm literally, quite literally telling you everything that I've done, okay? So consistency, all right? All those little details make up the big picture. That seems like a mystery, but it's really not. When you zoom in and you see that those are the key factors in what's gonna determine your weight loss success, it's no longer a mystery. Dial in on all those factors in your life. Make it happen for you. It's not a mystery. You can do this. And don't listen to anybody that tells you that this stuff doesn't work. Okay? All right. Again, consistency is key. You got to accurately track your calories and you have to bodybuild. In my opinion, it's very important to have some level of bodybuilding in your life. Okay? Next thing is do not be discouraged by your friends and family not understanding your goals. Don't be discouraged, okay? You get to choose your goals and you're going to get a lot of pressure from your friends and family, okay? They're going to tell you, oh, just eat this, just eat that, oh, have another two, three beers with me, this and that, this and that. It might be easier now because COVID's happening, so you may not be seeing your family as much, but the fact remains that you need to stick to your goals. Don't just be like, oh yeah, you're right. Let me just have that mac and cheese or four bowls of it. <laughs> All right? You make the choice. If it's worth it to you, then do it. But don't feel bullied into making a decision that you don't want to do. Don't do it. Because that will happen. You'll see. You'll see. Okay. Especially when you're living with people that don't follow your same regimen. All right? Okay. Don't be scared by the scale. That's important. A lot of people don't want to weigh themselves. Do not be scared by the scale, okay? Um, if you see your weight go up after you've made a little progress or you don't see any progress after you've been working at it, don't be scared, okay? It takes a little time. It does. That scale is going to fluctuate every single day. But stick to the, stick to the process, okay? Keep in mind water weight is tricky. Water will trick you, okay? So don't panic, be patient, stick to that process, know that the process works. Don't get discouraged. Do not get discouraged, it'll be the end of you, okay? Making mistakes is normal. Get back, once you make a mistake, if you feel guilty, you, you ate a box of cupcakes, it's over with. You start fresh again the next day. Do not get down about it, okay? Don't get down about it, all right? The next thing, is to, if it's better, in my, opi my opinion, just my opinion, it's better to skip a training day if you can't fully commit to that day, all right? If you're not giving 100% because you're distracted or you s didn't sleep enough and you're tired and exhausted, it's better to just skip that day and give 150% the next day when you're good, when you're ready to go, than to waste a day and get a, a you know, like a barely functioning workout in my opinion, it works better that way. You get more quality. It's quality over quantity, guys. Quality over quantity. Less better workouts over more frequent bad workouts, okay? If you need motivation, what's something you can do? Turn on some music. Some music that you love. Some music that motivates you, that gets you going. Turn, turn on some music, guys. It makes a huge difference for me. You get that energy from the music. If you don't have the energy already, you, you take your pre-workout, jam out to some music, and you got some motivation, all right? Again, losing weight takes time and patience, but trust in the process. Do not be afraid of that scale. Don't be afraid of the scale. Don't let it discourage you. 
A lot of people get discouraged. The scale does not mean everything. Use the mirror to track your progress even more so than the scale, in my opinion, okay? Now, depending on how much weight you want to lose, okay, you might not even have to do cardio. Now, why am I bringing this into the picture? A lot of people are, are scared or at a current moment in time incapable of doing cardio. Depending on how much weight you lose, you might not have to do cardio. Guys, I've lost enough weight already where I can just stop. And I did all that without cardio. Just some simple walks. That was my cardio. But because I want to continue and I want to get as ripped as I can, I'm going to be implementing cardio into my program soon. Okay? Some heavy cardio. But keep in mind, guys, don't let the fear of cardio stop you from your progress. Okay? Don't let it stop you from your progress. You may not even have to do cardio depending on the amount of weight that you have to lose. All right, guys? So this is the first video. Yep, that's what I got for today. This is the first video in the next, um, you know, in this series. I hope this helped you. Look forward um, to getting out a couple of more videos soon that's going to discuss some more tips and tricks on various aspects of this weight loss journey. I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Be safe. Talk soon. And uh, keep, out, keep on the watch for those next videos. Talk to you later, guys.